Liberals. Happened to the Honourable Member for Kelowna Lake Country. Well, Mr. Speaker, after eight years of this Liberal Prime Minister, the carbon tax grab is leaving Canadians in the cold. The government has reported that more than half of Canadian households pay more than $200 a month just to heat their homes. But it's going to get worse because of the triple, triple, tripling of the carbon tax that will affect home heating in every house in this country. We need to keep the heat on and take the tax off. Will this Prime Minister take responsibility, axe the carbon tax, and fix what he broke? Parliamentary Secretary for the Minister of the Environment. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, every time we put forward an affordability measure, uh, rental support, dental support, the Canada Child Benefit, the middle class tax cut, the Conservatives vote against it, Mr. Speaker. And, and something's just not sinking in, Mr. Speaker. The climate action rebate puts more money in people's pockets than they pay at the pump. Eight out of ten families will be better off, Mr. Speaker. But you know what won't uh, make families better off, Mr. Speaker? Uh, investing in cryptocurrency, investing in Bitcoin. I wonder if the uh, leader of the opposition will stand in this house right now and apologize for those Canadians who lost their shirts. The Honourable Member for Kelowna Lake Country. Well, Mr. Speaker, you know what Conservatives will do? We will axe the carbon tax, which makes the price of everything go up in this country and is affecting inflation. That's right. Here, here. The government likes to say that, uh, that they'll take no lessons from the Conservatives, and that's obvious because things keep getting worse. A resident of mine, Chris, says it's hard to keep up with this bill because of inflation. And he says, quote, he's always a little hungry and he's always a little cold, and his clothes are now hanging loosely. You know, we teach our kids to take responsibility for their actions, and yet this Prime Minister blames everyone else. Will the Prime Minister take responsibility for the cost of living crisis and fix what he broke? The Honourable Minister for Rural Development. Speaker, I'd like the opposition to take responsibility for the terrible jargon they're putting out of what we have to do on climate change. My riding is devastated, as you've heard me say numerous times. A vital income in my riding is a fishery. I have, as a result of Hurricane Fiona, $59.2 million worth of damage done to small craft harbors infrastructure. That was in pretty good shape before Hurricane Fiona hit. The price of not addressing climate change is real. Number four, 